Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem seventy one in chapter ten. In this chapter, we talk about rotational motion. There, we consider a ball, and it has the rotation, rotational motion, and linear motion. And this both mass, radius, and velocity are given. We need to find the total kinetic energy. And and as we can consider for kinetic energy, it should include two part, right? First part is the kinetic energy from the linear motion. The second part is the kinetic energy from the rotational motion. So one is one half m v square, and that's why it's one half i omega square. And this i is momentum of inertia for this ball. You can check your textbook. We can get it there. And the relationship between the linear velocity and angular velocity are in this equation. Now you can see the v is given, so we should in input omega inside in this function, right? And the i momentum of inertia at zero, and then you can solve this equation. You get the function look like that. In this function, the mass is given, velocity is given. Then you can find the final answer very easily. Thank you.